Hey YouTube, this is the art of prepping, going over various clothing options for your bug out bag, uh, for uh, nice um, and uh, warmer climates you want to have uh, very light and breathable synthetic clothing, you want to avoid uh, cotton products that can absorb um, the, the moisture but doesn't release it very well. So synthetics such as nylon and polyester would be a good choice uh, that are quick drying and easy to wash. Uh, those are going to be some, some elements that we're looking at here. Um, you know, having something that's breathable and, um, and it's going to be uh, able to, to give a little bit to, have a little stretch to it, would be also a bonus. Um, and that would uh, include something like, um, here's some polyester pants. Um, and uh, they're just very easy to, to dry when wet. And uh, you're wanting to look at something like that. Um, you know, for, for colder climates, you know, you want to start looking at uh, a layered system with a nice um, a moisture wicking a base layer. And that would also be in a synthetic material such as polyester or nylon. Secondary layer would be something like maybe a, a thermal shirt or some type of insulating shirt or even a wool sweater. And, um, <clears throat> you know, you'd have uh, wool hats like this. This is a military issued watch cap. And uh, polar fleece gloves, for example, would be great. So, you know, on your outer shell, though, you would have a third uh, layer, and that would be your outer shell. And that would be your waterproof and windproof layer for colder environments. And uh, you, you may also want a hood on your, on your jacket or um, your rain, uh, in your rain suit. So those are some clothing options. Um, once again, uh, cotton is, should be avoided, and it should only be uh, implemented in your bandanas. And you should try to avoid them, even your socks and underwear. You should consider, you know, moving into more of a synthetic material. So uh, if you have any other additional ideas, put them in the comments section. Thanks for watching.